It's the Rise and Shine Talk Show with Lady C, where we uplift, educate, and motivate. Let's talk about life and faith, ministry, and so much more. Conversations from a pastor's wife perspective. I am Lady C, your host. Family, be sure to like, follow, and share Rise and Shine with Lady C on Facebook and Instagram. And the Rise and Shine Talk Show is available on YouTube and podcasts. Listen to the podcast on Apple, Spotify, iHeart, to name a few. This episode is dedicated to Lady Phyllis Cage and all my beautiful sisters with God's Leading Ladies Empowerment Ministry. I love each and every one of you family today. We have a wonderful, sweet and anointed woman of God in the kingdom on today. First Lady Latasha L. Baker is a native of Macomb, Mississippi, and the beloved wife of Pastor James Baker Sr. of over 29 years, where they pastor at Newness of Life Ministries in Louisiana. Lady Latasha is an evangelist, singer, songwriter, motivational speaker, and a published author of two books, A Resuscitated Life, The Diary of a Lotus Blossom, and her newest book released in July, Bella and Jack, The Beautiful Exchange. Welcome to Rise and Shine, Lady Baker. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, I am so grateful and honored to have you on the show. Lady Latasha, so tell us a little bit about who you are and your journey. Um, As I think about who I am and how to summarize this, um, it, uh, a namesake was given to me over 10 years ago. Uh, Lotus Blossom. Mm. And so I would describe myself as Lotus Blossom. And the metaphor behind that is if the lotus flower is a a flower that's planted in a muddy, wet, swamp environment, growing underneath water, surrounded by darkness and danger, yet it rises above the water at the appointed time, sitting upon the pad that it's covered and protected by during its season underwater. And it openly reveals into something unexpectedly beautiful and unexpectedly beautiful wow. and that is metaphorically the inspiration behind my first book a resuscitate life the diary of a lotus blossom so who am i i am a woman who's developing by trials yes. i am a woman who's learning by errors come on i am now. a woman who's growing in god's grace i am a woman who's transfer transforming into god's truth and i am a woman in ev- evolving into God's glory and purpose for my life. Guess who I am? Now, Lady Latasha, now let me tell you something. <laughs> Baby, I'm ready to run on that. <laughs> Hallelujah. My goodness. Woo, <laughs> I just love hell. it. Come on now. Lotus just Blossom. Hell. My gosh. So, Lady Latasha, you yes. wear many hats as a pastor's yes. wife, a mother of six children and eight precious grands. You work professionally at Southeastern Louisiana University and you are an author. So share with the audience, how do you balance your many leadership roles? Prayerfully. Yeah, I, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Prayerfully, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a balancing act that only God can yeah. um, help navigate through because it at times it can be overwhelming and challenging. But I allow myself to um, be in those places where I'm needed the most. I learn to prioritize what's more important and what can wait. And uh, just to keep myself uh, mentally balanced, spiritually, I get up and I take myself before the Lord in the morning and asking God, God, show me how to behave myself wisely, as mm-hmm. David did. And, I, and as, he, as I begin to ask him to order my day, he helps me to navigate those areas uh, where, where, where I need to, in, so that, you know, I'm not becoming overwhelmed and feeling like I have to carry it all by myself. Um, but yes, it's definitely a challenge, but day by day, God helps me get through it. Amen. Lady Latasha, I really like when you said that you, you're prayerful and you ask yes. God to order your steps for the day yes. so that you are not overwhelmed. Talk a little bit more yes. about that, how we can become frazzled and overwhelmed as busy women in the kingdom. 
you said a key word, busy. Mm-hmm. You have to know the difference between what's the assignment and Come what's on. just busy. And many often times we don't distinguish between the two. And when we are getting busy, we begin to try to juggle all of those balls at one time. And we begin to lose sight on the assignment. And so when we distinguish between the assignment and what's being busy, we have to determine, okay, is this my assignment or is this just something I want to do? And then when we can determine and evaluate those things, what's the assignment, and then focus on the assignment and what's important, then we can kind of balance ourselves to where we don't get overwhelmed. Lady Latasha, let me tell you something. This is a women's ministry session all up in here on today. You bring it, woman of God. (laughs) Knowing the difference, knowing your assignment. My goodness, that is powerful. So you are the creator of the video blog, Building Blocks to Blossom on YouTube. And I absolutely love it. You are just shining through, walking in your purpose. Lady Latasha, I was like, look at my sis. You are doing it. So tell the family about its purpose. Talk to us about Building Blocks to Blossom. Um, Building Blocks to Blossom is birthed from uh, the book A Resuscitated Life, and what it is is lessons that I've learned. Uh, it's a faith-based, uh, um, inspirational uh, messages, very short, very brief, uh, sometimes eight minutes, sometimes ten minutes, um, but it's uh, faith-based messages on everyday topics of life that we deal Amen. with every day, and it is designed to encourage, inspire um, scriptures are provided, uh, but also illustrations. Uh, lo- the Lord deals with me about, um, I'm a very visual person, and so when I read a word, when I read a message, sometimes it's always clear, but God, when He shows me what it looks like, uh, then I'm able to connect it to the Word of God. And so the purpose of the messages in this blog is to not only give a word, not only give a scripture, but give physical illustration, life illustrations to show exactly what it looks like, to show what coming out looks like, to show what uh, overcoming looks like, to show what joy in the midst of chaos looks like. And then that way we can connect it to the Word of God, not dilute the Word of God or change the Word, but connect it to the Word because we are human people and we need to see what what, what deliverance really looks Amen. like. Amen. Ooh, that's powerful to connect the Word. Oh, my goodness. Lady Latasha, what I love about you, you know, is your sincerity, your authenticity, and your transparency. So can you share with us why is it important um, for us to grow and blossom in our lives? It's important because there's someone else that's gonna that's going through it, mm-hmm. been through it, or will go through it. And if we are able to allow ourselves to grow through our trials, to grow through our mistakes, to yeah. grow through our errors, uh, then we too, when we come out, you can't tell anybody anything that you haven't been through. Ooh, that's when good. you come out, you can reach back for that sister, you can reach back for that brother, and say, "Hey, yes." Not only did I go through it, but I came out. No, I'm not here to be in a pity party with you, but if you want to come up, let's come up because I'm a witness that you can come out. And so we are to, when we grow, we can motivate and encourage others that yeah. say, hey, that feels like I just can't make it. I'm not coming out of this. We can look, we can tell them, hey, you're looking at a miracle. Yeah, you can come out of this. If you want to go, come on, take my hand. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, this is powerful. So, Lady Latasha, so, you know, why is transparency leading to this? Why is transparency so important in the body of Christ for us to help one another? Talk to us about transparency. Oh, my gosh. Um, Transparency, that is a big thing to me for many times for us, especially as believers and as Mm -hmm. spiritual leaders. Sometimes it's very challenging to open up about where you've been and where you've come from, uh, uh, not pretty places, but there are also people in those very dark and and, and ugly places that need to know that, hey, yeah, you've come out of it and this is where you are now. So if I'm transparent and honest about where I was and how I came out, then it can encourage, give someone else hope that they too can survive, that they too can live, that they too can move forward. 
But if we close down and, and, and act as if we've been saved all our lives, we can't help nobody. Somebody needs to know, hey, maybe, hey, I had a child out of wedlock, but God uses me. God delivered yes. me. God forgave me. Hey, I used to be on drugs, but God delivered me so he can deliver you. If we can just be open about where God brought us from, Ooh. we can actually help somebody that's there give them hope that they, too, can be delivered to. Amen. Powerful, powerful. It's so important. Oh, my goodness. It, it really is. I always... um you know, have the saying, you see my glory, but you hey. don't know my story. <laughs> there is a story. There's a story behind my praise. Come on now. Come on now. I know that's right. Lady Latasha. So tell the family about your books, A Resuscitated Life, The Diary of a Lotus Blossom, and your newest book released in July, Bella and Jack, The Beautiful Exchange. So start off telling us just a little bit about A Resuscitated Life. Yes, ma'am. A resuscitated life, the diver of the lotus blossom. Um, as you spoke about the word transparency, uh, this this is a the, this is a transparent account of a woman's journey uh, that has come through many adversities, learned many lessons, uh, and overcome the challenge. And she too was planted in uh, a dark area of of, 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 of what it appeared to be mud and and, and, and just uh, 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 trying circumstances, but. At the appointed time, she's raised up, and mm. she, when she's raised up, she's opening up, and, to, and God reveals something unexpected, beautiful. And what I want, and not only it's a two-in-one resource, uh, not only do they read about the story, the journey of the woman in this book, but they also there's a, a diary uh, in a space with uh, guided uh, illustrations for the person who's reading to also write their own story. They'll read about one story, but through this book, they can write. Them. Powerful healing and deliverance that they too can also have in, the, in, in that book through that story. That is now, amazing. Bella and, Jack, Bella and Jack is a uh, we know that how in the Bible Jesus dealt with parables mm -hmm. uh, with, to, to illustrate uh, earthly stories to give uh, heavenly meanings about with the message that he was trying to convey. I believe that the story of Bella and Jack is also a parable of God's love. Of uh, is uh, and, and it, it, it was birthed from two puppies that came out of the woods that followed my husband and son home from a bike ride, and from there the Lord showed me how to. I started writing a story about them. I was watching them play. They wouldn't leave. They stayed with us. <laughs> oh my and goodness! And I started writing a story about them. And but God took that story and turned it into something so beyond my imagination. Um, and it's going to illustrate. Uh, how the beautiful exchange from joy, from sorrow to joy, from from uh, 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 confusion to unity, mm -hmm. from 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 love uh, to comfort, uh, is it, so much that's power packed in this book, uh, and it's a little small book, easy to read, but there is so much, and it's beyond what my imagination that God is going to do with it to bless the heart of people. That is powerful. Oh, my goodness. Lady Latasha, did you ever expect, you know, to be an author, to walk, you know, in this uh, beautiful ministry um, of writing? You know, did you did you foresee that? You know, how did you come to this point? I didn't see it. I, I've always been writing since I was a little girl. I would journal. And so around about 12 years old, I started journaling. And that's the, the way that I would uh, communicate uh, and I would learn to uh, just, you know, get get my feelings out on paper because I was a loner. I, I didn't have a lot of friends. Uh, I was, uh, I know now that I was set apart for God's use. So a lot of things that I didn't have a lot of crowd of people around me. So I would write and I would journal. And when it came to God gave me the first book of a resuscitated life, I he gave me the title, but I had to live out the book. So I had to live it. It took 22 years mm -hmm. to write that story. And uh, one thing that I learned as a pastor's wife through writing this book is that one of the things, one of the challenges that I had is that I did not know how to communicate. Mm. I did not know how to communicate. I suppressed so much inside, and I did not know how to communicate. And God physically sent me back to school, to wow. college. I had to leave my job, and I went. he sent me back to college physical college and I had to take up the degree I have a bachelor's degree in communications and I just and, and it, 
so much that he taught me through physically that connected to my spiritual walk and my relationships and as a pastor's wife uh, to my husband, to my children, in every relationship through learning how to communicate, just learning how to talk and how to not, and to how to express myself and, and not be timid and not be afraid and, and to be transparent. Um, I have grown in many ways through that. And so through that story, that's where God has shown me glory, his glory. Oh, my goodness. Lady Latasha, I'm telling you, I just I just hear just and feel all of what God has done for you and right. and, and relating to communication. And we in the body of Christ, um, communication is key. It's, it's so it important. Is. And I, I believe in being a strong communicator. I would say, say what you mean, mean what you mm-hmm. say. But yet there is a way you know, Mm -hmm. to communicate. I always say it's all in your tone and your tenor, but, you know, to communicate, it's so important because um, if you don't, you know, things get lost in, you know, assumptions and... (laughs) And I was one lady, a C, that I just got lost in the fear of rejection. Powerful. Uh, The fear of just not being received. Uh, mm-hmm. I, 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 the Lord had to deliver me from people pleasing and people approving. Uh, I had an approval addiction mm-hmm. um, into where I just wanted everyone to be happy. I wanted to have friends and, yeah. and it's like I didn't understand why I didn't have friends and I just didn't understand the purpose and the call of God upon my life and I didn't want to be that person. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to be a good girl. I didn't want to be called and set apart. But he told me when I was in uh, uh, going to technical college. I was 20 years old and I was going to, he didn't allow me to go to college at that time. Mm-hmm. And that door closed and I'm, I'm definitely going to be brief with this, but I, I feel the I'll Holy Spirit to share it. Yes. And I was 20 years old and I was in technical college because I got my house burned, our house burned down. So all of my stuff burned up so I can go to the college I wanted to go to. But I was sitting there doing my work in the Holy Spirit. I didn't realize it as the Holy Spirit came up on me. And I couldn't sit in my seat. The tears began to fall, and I retreated to the ladies' bathroom. And when I got into the, I saw the Lord didn't let anybody come in that bathroom, Lady C. Mm. And the Holy Spirit just came up on me, and my hands was up, and I was in that stall. And all I could say was, thank you, Jesus. And I, and, and, and I was crying, and I heard these words, and I didn't even know it was a scripture in the Bible at the time, but I heard these words, you did, you have not chosen me. I have chosen Ooh, you to God. go and bring forth fruit that remains. And whatsoever you shall ask mm-hmm. of me, mm-hmm. it shall be given you. And I kept hearing that. At 20 years old, I kept hearing that. And one day I was able to, this was in 1990, when the Holy God filled me with the Holy Spirit at school. And I know that God has uh, called me to go through many things, yeah. many things. And even as we speak, going through many things, but he's going to use it for my good and for the glory of the kingdom and that's my life is for god and it has and i surrender it to god because i have no other choice but to serve him no other choice but to serve him (laughs) yes no other choice my goodness lady latasha can you share um with the the person who is in leadership first lady pastor or whoever how writing can really be healing because sometimes um, we may not be able to share or talk mm-hmm. with every you know what what we're going through right. but can you talk right. about how journaling and writing is such a sacred art and and it really can be therapeutic and healing for me my personal experience my first personal encounter is I learned that when I didn't know how to talk to people I can talk to God and it didn't always have to be out loud, but when I put it down paper, I was still talking to God, and I got it out of my heart, out of that space where the, the enemy wanted to, me to keep it in and not share it and not tell anyone, but I could put it on paper when I couldn't talk to people, and God knew whether I said it or whether I wrote it. He, he, he knew, and that helped me to release it. Amen. We have to release. Mm. It is a form of releasing. We have to get it out 
of our heart, out of our spirit. And even if you can't speak to a person, get it on paper. God knows, you know, but you're releasing it out, getting it out. And once you're able to get it out, then you can allow yourself to process what you've written and then allow God to speak to your heart. And that's how he helps me through writing. Amen. Lady Latasha, I'm telling you, this is helping somebody today. Somebody that's listening to the voice of Lady Latasha Baker all the way in Louisiana. You've been carrying something. You have a story. And the woman of God said, it's time to release it. It's time to release it. My God, things, Mm. secrets. You know, DJ Mike, you know, we we can, now I I talk about us. Now the black folk, Mm -hmm. listen, Mm. Lady Baker, we can hold on to some secrets. Amen. There are some things that we take to our grave. Yeah. And we just don't realize how holding on and carrying yeah. this burden, this weight, and how it manifests in other areas of I our know. life, of our physical being, our emotional, mental, spiritual, you know, yeah. all of that. You know, yeah. and like the woman of God said, it's time to release it. Amen. It's time to release it. It's, it's time to be free. Yes. It's time to be free from the oppressive thoughts. Hallelujah. Of the bondage of man's words, yes. man's untruth, man's deceitfulness. And it's time to believe the report of God, who he says you are. His truth that is spoken over you because it is his truth, his truth that will prevail. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care where you came from. I don't care from the the mud that you're standing in. If you allow God to bring you through and bring you up, I guarantee you there's something birthed inside of you that is going is unexpectedly beautiful. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men what God has in store and what He will reveal through you. You think you're nothing. You think you have nothing going for you. You think that nobody sees, nobody cares, nobody knows. But there's something inside of you that at the right time, at the appointed time, there's a lotus blossom flower in you that can't nobody, when they see you, they would not have said, I thought that I never thought something that pretty would have came out of what she came out of. My God. <laughs> Oh now, Hallelujah. you came through the mud and the water, but when you open up, you yes. are a beautiful flower. And when they see you, it's like, how in the world did something that beautiful come out of the mud? Woo. But God, but God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. My God, Lady Latasha is committed to the assignment of sharing the Word of God to cultivate hope, healing, and deliverance. Lady Latasha, how can the family connect with you? on social media and where can we purchase your books my book is also is on amazon you so you can go to amazon.com um also i will give you my website address you can visit my website at lotusblossominspirational.com uh, where you can learn a little bit more about myself uh the book uh, also, uh, my video blogs are connected to it as well, and you can also connect with me as well through that. I am on Facebook at uh, Latasha Baker. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, L Blossom uh, thir- uh, seventy one, and I'm also on Instagram at Latasha Baker thirty three. So you can find me there. Awesome, awesome. Lady Latasha, I love you, woman of God. I thank God for you. I appreciate you for joining me today on the Rise and Shine talk show. I'm your host, Lady C. Remember, if God be for you, who can be against you? Be encouraged. You have purpose and it's time to rise and shine. Be sure to catch the show on your favorite podcast platform. God bless.